Hello and welcome to Many Voices, Many Visions. I'm your host, Norma Holland. Thanks for joining us. What if you had a coach to help you on your way to better health? That's what RIT students are doing. They're getting training as healthcare coaches through a unique partnership with Rochester Regional Health System. Here to explain how it works and how it benefits both the student and the patient is Dr. Bridget Weefling from Rochester Regional Health. Thanks for joining us, doctor. Thank you, Norma. And Rebecca Wilhelm. She is a student health coach and a student at RIT. Thanks for being with us, Rebecca. Thank you. This is a really neat partnership, and I've not heard of it done before. Mm -hmm. um, where did the idea come from? From to have the students be health coaches? Well, it's interesting. As a physician, um, we run into a situation where we don't have enough time in the exam room uh, often to um, ask about barriers, try to have an understanding about what are some of the questions a patient might have that are outside the normal questions um, with respect to how to manage their um, comp often very complex diseases. Yeah. And so we also find that people are intimidated by us. And so they don't always ask questions in the moment that they want to. And, you, you know, how many times you talk to your mom sure. or your dad or mm -hmm. brother or sister and they're like, do you know? Yeah. You know, um, because it's sort of non-threatening. And right. so we wanted to create a situation where there was someone who could be a little bit the eyes and the ears of, of the provider, mm -hmm. but also be that sort of motivating force uh, for a patient that could listen and um, be non-threatening and be able to answer questions that a patient might have right in the moment in their home setting, where they're comfortable, when they're relaxed, when mm -hmm. they can really absorb um, support. That's a great way to put it. They can, they're, it's non-threatening. Rebecca, you have one patient you're working with. Yes. And I, and I asked you before we started, what is the relationship like between you and the patient? So does the patient see you as they would perhaps a nurse or even a doctor? I mean, or is there more of a, a, a friendly one-to-one uh, -one type of, of, of interaction with the patient? I would say it's more friendly. I don't have the title of a nurse or a doctor. So it is, you know, I'm coming into the home as a student, as a friend. Um, I'm there to listen to them. I'm there to support them. I'm there to hear about their, their, you know, problems, their concerns. And then that's where I take that information back to the nurses, that maybe the nurses couldn't get that information themselves. What kinds of things are you asking the patient? What kind of information are you trying to get from them uh, in your visits with them? I'm trying to ask them about their concerns, um, you know, what keeps them up at night, what is worrying them about their health, about their finances, about their home, their relationships with their family. Wow, very holistic, a very mm -hmm. uh, interesting approach. You're, you're trying to find out about the entire person. You're right, it's not just the health, it is, you know, their whole, their whole life setting. That's amazing. And that because it all contributes, doesn't it? Right. Oh, yeah. Because stress can contribute to a person's diabetes, to their heart disease. And, and when we talk about conditions, we're talking about those things. Hypertension, right? right? Diabetes. Diabetes, right. Um, even depression. You know, there's a lot of social isolation that, that mm. happens when uh, patients become um, m more ill in their situation. And so being able to have someone who's coming in and on a regular basis and opening up that, um, that sort of social window, it's very therapeutic. We're going to take a break, but when we come back, I want to talk about the benefits to the student. Rebecca, you're a student. I want to know what you're studying and how this is helping you further along your, uh, your education and, Dr. Weefling, how it benefits Rochester Regional Health uh, to have this partnership with RIT. We'll be right back. back we're talking about a really neat partnership between Rochester Regional Health and RIT training students to be health coaches student health coaches and with us is Dr. Bridget Weefling from Rochester Regional Health and Rebecca Wilhelm she is a student health coach and a student uh, at RIT um, when we last left I was asking you what your interaction is like with your patient and uh, Dr. Weefling she's getting a great experience mm -hmm. in her pre-med career right your pre-med education yes that's an amazing thing. So she's going to go on to one day become a doctor and yep. a health care provider. Uh, this is a benefit to really everyone involved, right? Absolutely. Rochester Regional Health believes in helping the community as well as our patients to achieve goals, wellness goals, and live their best lives. Yeah. And one of the things that we know is that we need to continue a passion for health care. We need to continue to develop workforce. We need to have young and energetic um, individuals like Rebecca who understand the holistic approach to medicine so that it is not just a routine technical experience. 
And so we believe that the program is a great introduction to young minds and, and enthusiastic individuals who want to seek a profession in healthcare. Yeah. It's also a really good experience for our patients, mm -hmm. which is the most important thing because it helps them to achieve their outcomes and set goals and, and feel good about them and navigate a very difficult system. And I think thirdly, you know, we have we do not have enough care managers in our community to do the work um, and so by being able to expand our workforce um, with students it helps everybody yeah and and it does it provides that education that you might not otherwise have yeah. until later on in your studies but here you are you know at the very beginning so to speak working with people getting to know what their needs are but as you mentioned there is that shortage and you know we're living longer yeah. there's more of us needing care more of those chronic conditions out there uh, and unfortunately, unless we have this kind of partnership and these partners, we can't reach everyone. Right. Right? Exactly. That's so it's a, it's a real growth opportunity. Yeah, it's a wonderful partnership, but again, um, I asked you what you want to do one day, and I love what you said. What is your future? What are your future goals? What do you hope to do one day, Rebecca? Well, this summer, I will be applying to medical school in the hopes of one day becoming a doctor. That's wonderful. So you're pre-med and pre -med. yeah. How long is this? Um, um, how long have you been a coach? I have been a coach for almost a year now. I started mm -hmm. last summer. Mm -hmm. so how has the relationship year. changed between you and the patient from the very beginning to now? Well, it's getting you know a little nerve-wracking. You know, we didn't know each other that well. We didn't know how much we wanted to talk, how much mm -hmm. we wanted to share. But you know, over the course of this year, we have created this amazing bond. We've shared so much together. We have so much respect for each other. And that's how we can, you know, really communicate effectively together. Um, patients are referred to the students through their own doctors, right? Correct. That's a wonderful thing. So if you're out there and you're thinking, I think I would really enjoy that, having someone kind of check up on me and ask me questions and get to know me as a person, not just a patient. So um, I think that's a fascinating way to look at health care, you know, looking at the entire person. Yep, absolutely. And Rebecca's gone on to do the co-op this this semester. Ah. Uh, she's, a, she's chosen to stay on for a little That's bit longer, better. which we're excited about. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you both for thank joining you. us. Really exciting thing going on right now at Rochester Regional Health and RIT, those student health coaches. Um, you never know. Uh, these are the doctors of the future, and we're so glad that you're uh, joining us and staying in our community for now.